Hey friends, I've been out having a blast on my 1972 LT2100 Yamaha Enduro. And in today's video, you can see that it's running great. As a matter of fact, last week I took an 82 mile ride on the bike. I'll put a link to that video right up here. But today I wanna to start the journey of how I bought it in non-running condition, got the bike running. So uh, let's start at the beginning, right when I brought it home. I told a friend that I was looking for an older Yamaha Enduro and he just happened to have this 100 tucked away in the back of his motorcycle shop. I knew that I wanted it without even pulling it out of the bay. Once I got the bike home, it was time to give it a good cleaning and see just what was lying underneath the dust, oil crud, gas stains, and rust. Overall, this bike is way cleaner than most for its age but when you look really closely, the signs of age are obvious. A look inside the gas tank revealed the typical varnish and rust you see from a bike left sitting. I decided to deal with that later and, for the initial startup, attached this mini bike gas tank and petcock I bought off of Amazon for around $25. It's clean, easily zip ties to any frame, and has helped me get a number of bikes going. I also made sure to add some oil to the gas, since this is a two-stroke. My hope is that the Auto Lube oil injection system is still working, but there's no reason to take a chance on the initial startup, so extra oil it is. I did top off the oil injection tank also in hopes a startup would allow it to move and get fully primed. But a big thing, before trying to start one of these old bikes for the first time, I always inspect the air cleaner. What I found was pretty typical. The foam air filter was badly crumbling from age. Trying to start the bike in this condition would just suck all of that crumbling foam into the carburetor and cylinder, so I'm glad I checked first because that would have been a nightmare to clean up. We'll just leave the air cleaner off for the initial startup. After a bunch of kicks, there were zero signs of life. It's pretty much guaranteed the carburetor will need a good cleaning, so off it comes. Best case scenario, there's just some sediment in there. Worst case scenario, it's coated in varnish and O-rings and rubber parts are deteriorating. While the outside of the carb looks gnarly, the inside wasn't bad at all. I went ahead and disassembled everything, cleaned the jets out with carburetor cleaner, and adjusted the float level and air screw to factory specs. With the car back on the bike, it made sense to go ahead and check the ignition also to see if there's a healthy spark at the spark plug. With the plug out and resting on the cylinder head and giving it a few kicks, it appeared the spark was intermittent and weak, a small red spark instead of the healthy blue-white spark we'd like to see. Which means it's on to the flywheel and points system. I first checked to make sure the points were opening fully and in time. All appeared to be fine there. A common fix for weak spark is cleaning the points contact cap with a little emery paper. You can do this with the flywheel installed, but it's better to remove it if you have a flywheel puller. Mm. That enables you to inspect the points for pitting, wear, and dirt much easier. Much better. Now we have a consistent, healthy spark. One thing I always do on these older bikes is make sure there's a good connection between the plug wire and the plug cap. So I unscrewed the cap and trimmed a quarter of an inch or so off of the plug wire, then reinstalled the cap. 
kicking the bike over, the engine compression felt really good. Great, in fact. But while inspecting everything, I decided to give it a compression test to see if the top end was in good shape. It turned out to have an amazing 165 pounds of compression. I'll take it. Of course, we'll add a fresh spark plug. Here's something pretty cool I just thought of. This is where the tool kit is included on a new motorcycle, or was back in the 70s. I have no idea if the tools are actually in here, but this is one of those kind of holy grail things, if it is in there. <laughs> the original tool kit. Oh man, and that's even soft and pliable. Usually these things are just brittle and cracked. That's incredible, it was obviously used. Had some string around it. This is cool. Some kid learned how to work on things with these tools. There's an old spark plug. Everything you need right there to do basic maintenance on this motorcycle. She's running and also smoking like a freight train. So that's how I got the bike running. The next step is going to be making it roadworthy and I'll cover that in the next video. I not only want to have the bike running well, but I want to make sure that it's safe and it's up to legal standards too, which unbelievably this 50 year old motorcycle is. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a like, and I hope you'll consider subscribing for future riding and wrenching videos. Ride safe.